Good afternoon, grade four students. Today is Monday, and I want to welcome you in our English class for this afternoon. How are you today? I hope that you're all doing fine, and I hope you enjoyed your time spending and having fun with your family this holiday. So today we're going to continue our lessons, and we are still hoping to see every one of you inside the classroom here at school. Okay, so again everyone, oh before we start, let's have a short review of what we learned previously. So if you still remember, we learned about punctuation gives expressions. So what are the um, what are the expressions that we learned previously in our class? Do you still remember? Okay, so just a review. Previously, we learned um, punctuation uh, gives expressions like um, exclamation point, colon, semicolon, what else? Um, question mark, full stop, um, what else? Quotation marks, right? And so on and so on. So in our previous lesson, we also learned that if you see this kind of um, punctuation marks when you are reading, it will tell you when you have to stop or when you have to follow how the writer wrote or what is the writer feeling when he was writing those sentences and words. Okay? So that's it. Now today we are going to continue still with Unit 6. We're still talking about poems. And today we are going to learn about shape poems. It's fun. When I was reviewing our lesson or this topic, I actually remember the time of those times when I was um, drawing and at the same time making a poem. So you will find out about it after this presentation. So what is a shape poem? A shape poem is a poem that takes on the shape of the thing you're writing about. It takes the shape of the thing that you're writing about. So if you wanted to write a poem about an apple, so apple, right? Let's say you want to write something about apple because it's your favorite fruit. Now outline here, it takes the shape. So what is the shape of an apple? Oh, okay. Okay, I'm not a good, I don't, I'm not really good at drawing, but let's imagine this is a, an apple, okay? So if you wanted to write a poem about an apple, you could write it inside of the outline of an apple. So, for example, you um, you are thinking about apples. So let's say, let's make a poem, okay? Thing or uh, someone or something that you are thinking about and 
then you use the outline to make your poem. Another example, I give you one more example. So if this is just an example, okay? Now I hope that you already understand what shape poem is. That's why we are saying shape poem because we are going to draw and use shapes at the same time use the poem that you wrote. So I have here a poem. I fly my kite in the windy sky and smile in delight as it soars so high. Up it goes, up it zooms, with the birds and through the clouds, I wish that I had wings. <coughs> I'm sorry. <coughs> okay, so this is the poem, right? Now we already have that poem. Now where's the shape? So here's what we're going to do now. So since we are talking about a kite, so this is the topic. Right? It is describing, this poem is describing the kite. So we can do something like this. So let's draw an outline of a kite. There. So you can write, I fly my kite in the windy sky and smile in Okay, so let's say it's already here, okay? This poem. So this is not complete yet. My kite is not complete. So let's say there's a ring there. Okay. And then let's say a um, source of hive, just until there. Now up it zooms, up it, up it goes. So you can also write it here. Up it goes up in zooms and then so on and so forth so this is an example of a shape poem okay it's fun kids right so if you do this you can also uh, use your imagination your um, creativity your curiosity about something so um, for our activity later on, kids, you have to make a shape poem. Now, I hope that you understand what a shape poem is. And from now on, you will be able to identify pictures and poems that are examples of shape poems. Okay? So, um, that's it for our presentation, for our lesson today. Very easy, kids. It, we are just using shapes. Um, in connection with your poems, okay? So on this, this topic is actually on page 92 and 93. So please wait for my instructions for task 1. And please review this video so you will be able to know and understand what you have to do, okay? Alright, so that's it for our presentation. I'll see you later kids for task 2. For now, after watching the video, please wait for your task. Since we 
go ahead and learn about punctuation, gives expression. Please don't forget to use your punctuation marks when you are writing a poem. So it gives us um, clarity about our poem and it gives an idea to your reader how to write, the, uh, how to read your poem. So please don't forget to use punctuation marks. Okay. Shape color.